Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we'll be playing Velerin on the live stream. Welcome everyone who's joining in. Glad to see you today. Just loading back in. I was having some lag issues actually in game as I was getting killed by quite a few people in town. Looks like we do have uh, some people joining in with us already today. Glad to see some familiar faces. Love playing with everyone. I see Sara has avenged E already. Good. Um, and then we have Copcat joining in as well. Thanks for joining Copcat today. All right. Kind of a last minute deal that I strung together. So hopefully we get some other players in to have some fun. Good morning there, Callie Cats. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping in today to watch. I guess the first thing we should probably do is just go through the updates right away. There's a sheep inside the wall. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my uh, control here. Lagging a little bit. I don't know. All right. So some of the updates. Let's bring in Bellerin week 101. So what does 101 have to bring us? We have some contributor work. Now this is a little bit of an old blog post, but uh, it'll still do. I don't think we reviewed any of this last time. So uh, let's see. We have uh, the website here has been, this is the wiki, has been redesigned a little bit. We also have this new model here, which uh, you can see it looks quite interesting. It looks like it almost has a little bit of a tail here. It's kind of uh, kind of cool. Don't know what it reminds me of. Uh, let's see. So here's that wiki that we were talking about. And then we have water models coming from Sara themselves. Looking great. We got corals, flowers. And uh, there should be, looks like, distinctions between salt water, fresh water. Really cool. Uh, economic simulation is going on. We have skill trees getting updated. Quite exciting. Copcat's just dancing away on top of a torch there. Let's see. Uh, one other thing I want to show off is in the t um, left here in our inventory, we now have access to tiny leather pouches. This allows us to, well, store more items, really. So if we look, we can see we have a bag with slots of six, six, six. So... Uh oh. <laughs> and then if we hit this up here, this expands everything and that's due to the new inventory bag that we have that we're carrying around called the Traveler's Backpack. Thanks to a couple of users from last time for donating that one. Thank you so much. All right. So the plan today is as it says, we have, um, we're talking about updates, we're doing some caves, we're just having some fun here. 2021, thank you so much, tax action. It's time to go, here we go. All right, Joseph, good morning. Thanks for stopping by today. Copcat, Sara, do you have any plans? Do you want to hit up that, hit up a cave maybe? Maybe you have a cave that you wanna go to. I'm kind of excited. Okay, so did I invite everyone? Sara, Cali Cats, Cali Cats, Coco Rum, 81, geez. You're doing work over there. You're about to surpass me. I don't even know what level I am. 84, you're way on your way to surpassing me. Bow, welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. Glad to see you today. Hopefully everyone's doing great and having fun on this. What is this? Is this our second week of the new year? It's uh, It's been... It's been pretty wild already this <laughs> just within a few weeks of starting the brand new year hopefully others have been a little bit more calm i would like to go to the desert to get some coconut coconuts i'm really low on healing surprise that sounds great i think palms are near the desert water let's check that out okay we got a huge desert over here we got this one and we got this one below Let's wait a second. Wait a second. This has been regenerated. Oh, this is exciting, everyone. Everyone, if you're stopping in right now, make sure to smash that button because it looks like this map has been regenerated and we're about to do some amazing exploration. 
It definitely was, because up here, there's a huge mountain range. Now the mountain range is to the left of us from town. Well, now I'm even more excited. So, here's the plan. Looks like we have a ton of caves out throughout this desert area. Now that we uh, have this new regeneration of the map, I definitely want to go check this side out. So, we're going due east. Let's head out. All right. Let's see. Chaos Virtual Machine went to Colonel Panic. Oh, no. With no possible way to install the LTS kernel. So, there, that one is gone. Not taking any chances. Install the long-term support version of the kernel on my Arch host system. Well, that's too bad. All that's set up and work, and then it just goes into panic mode. No good. Ooh. File. I, you know what? I don't know if uh, the devs mind or not, but that would be a really good idea, just exploring some of the testing branches. I think I need to set that up for uh, next time. I think that might be quite fun. That's a really good idea. I just never thought of it. You know, I'm like, maybe they don't want it shared quite yet. You know? Well, let me know, Fow, what you think. All right, we're heading due east into the beautiful desert. If I could get out of this tree and glide over the treetops here. Quite beautiful. A beautiful day in Bellerin, as usual. I got 433 sunflowers. I have no idea what the heck I'm going to do with those. I blew a bunch of healing stockpile, helping my friend through some caves and dungeons. Definitely need to restock today. Looks like we're all about to start restocking on our health potions and uh, items, craft items. Um, we're going to head out to the east. So I'm looking at the map here. Yep, we're going the right way. I got 1257. Lol. That's 1257 what? 1257 health? Oh, of sunflowers. I just I just picked that one up. Oh my gosh. We really like our sunflowers in this game. <laughs> our our sunflower iced tea or whatever it's called. Look at all these sunflowers. How could you not pick them up? All right, we could definitely do that then. Yeah, I I didn't even think uh think of that so thanks for that idea pal we'll um yeah let me plan that out a little bit and uh i'll make that happen it's an awesome idea welcome to the stream everyone if you're just stopping in to watch this thing today make sure to smash that like button for me and uh just say Hello in the chat, so I know you're hanging out with us, so I can say hi back. If you have any questions about Velerin, programming, Linux, or you just want to talk, feel free to post it in the chat. As per, welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping in. We got Coco Rum, Copcast, Sarl following around having fun look at the beautiful sky with the beautiful mountains welcome welcome all right gliding into the desert 158 red flowers 723 sunflowers we got a lot a lot of sunflowers and red flowers between us i don't think i have quite as many red flowers though not only 19 oh my i need to really figure out what i can use all this for I know uh, with the new backpacks that have been introduced to the game, uh, we we do we can use dyes, so that's why you have red flowers now, which is pretty cool. I haven't really got <laughs> time to make any. Um, definitely need to do that. So um, eventually, eventually. Sorry, Kitty, saying hi here too. Thank you so much. Hi back. Thanks for playing today with us. Hello there, Matsu. Welcome to this stream. Thank you for stopping by. How is everyone today? Let's see, need some planning talking beforehand? Of course, yes, yes, yes. So um, I will definitely be getting with you here soon because that's a really exciting thing. So it looks like they got skill trees coming on up here in Velerin soon if it's uh, in the testing branch. 
Uh, I think that's definitely going to be the next stream, checking out some of those, uh, hopefully, skills if they're available. I don't know if it's just the GUIs getting developed or they're actually already working on some skills in the game. That'd be really cool to see. 240 sunflowers there. All right, Sara. 443. Ah, I got you beat there. <laughs> that's probably the only thing I got you beat in. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Get out a free look. Done looking because I'm about to land here between between the sand raptor and the goat looking thing here. We're about to destroy him. We'll fall right in and let's go to town. So to me, it looks like they've also updated the colors a little bit. The health bar looks ever so slightly. Um, how do I say this? Pinker? <laughs> It's got, it's got a little bit less of a red hue than it did before. A little lighter of a red. I like the color. I like the color. It looks really good. I don't know if I'm just imagining things or they're actually changing up colors on me. So, um, you know. Uh-oh. I hope people won't mind their levels being quote-unquote gone too much. Ooh, is this a... What do they call that? A premonition? Is this happening in the future? Is this something that uh, is very close? I wouldn't mind at all, honestly. I just love exploring and playing. I think it'd be great to start from level one again and get the full-on experience now that the dungeons are harder, the mobs are more intelligent, we have skills looking like they're coming, and we just the gameplay has gotten so much better over the last couple months i am definitely <clears throat> definitely excited uh <laughs> copcat though i don't think they're taking it too lightly here we got uh what foul <laughs> uh, uh oh yeah i i would i would see why copcat's all up on uh all up in arms on that one 206 level 206 it's taking quite a while to get there i'm sure but copcat you know what to do i missed the tree that was floating that's too bad beautiful music in the background we got the birds singing to us as we're heading down this ridge line do you know how much time i spent grinding <laughs> uh-oh copcat's fuming Oh no, Copcat, it'll be alright. We'll all level back up together. You'll be on top no matter what. Doesn't matter. We got you. Alright, yes, yeah, strawberry smoothie color. I like that. It's very close, but it's just the number missing. Everything else will stay the same. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yes. Like I said, don't mind at all. Welcome, welcome everyone to the stream today. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, post them in the chat taking questions about Velerin here. We're exploring this beautiful world, heading down to the Savannah Desert, as I like to call it. This entire map has been regenerated from what I can see anyway. We got a ton of caves. Everything's looking a little bit different here. I'm quite excited to go through the desert. Apparently we're searching for some coconuts and some trees. It'll be uh, a lot of fun. We'll probably hit up a cave or two. We got Copcat, Sara, Coco Rum joining us today, having fun. Years of academy training wasted. <laughs> oh man, Copcat's upset today. Copcat is upset. Let's see. You guys are getting seven weapon combat trees to level up individually. Whoa. The only thing that you can lose in additional health through levels. Okay, okay. I have been testing the server for the new level skill tree briefly though what are you thinking about that or uh sara what are you thinking about that new skill tree set i'm very excited i haven't tried it yet and now you have me all excited about it between Fao and sara Velorin has been uh, quite hard at work if you haven't already uh make sure to smash that like button and check out Velorin.net. It's a free and open source game available to anyone and everyone on Linux, Mac, and Windows. Check out these awesome, I think these are Baboa trees. I'm probably saying that wrong, but it is a pretty awesome. Actually, I think, Sara, didn't you uh, help develop these? I actually looked these up not too long ago just to see um, 
how they stacked up against the ones in the real world. And I got to say, it looks pretty good. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. I want to learn how to build my own levels in Super Tux. Ooh. What is Super Tux developed on, actually, Joseph? I've played that. It's a fun game. I suck at it, but it's a really fun game. As some members might even remember, I used to stream some of those games. And whew, it was bad. Inevitably going to need balancing as we test it more, but it's set a foundation for as much better progression systems in the current level. So I know there was a mention of going to a cave. If, um, let's see, who was the one to mention the Northwest? Sorry, if you want to lead us there, sure. Um, Copcat, we're searching for some coconuts as well. Yeah, we should make a save here. Hit that waypoint. Check out this beautiful little cactus here. Got to admire it just a little bit. Baobab. Interesting. Ooh, skill tree branch also comes with a pretty big UI update. Val, you're making this hard now. I'm going to have to talk to you after this stream so we can, we can get going on showing off some of that stuff real quick. See how I'm feeling tomorrow. Maybe I can uh, stream another live stream tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. No promises. When I can build a new world map in Super Tux, there's going to be some troll or Sykes levels. Oh, yeah? What are you thinking there, Joseph? How are you going to psych us out? Or do you not want to tell us? If you do make a level, you need to let us know so we can play that. It would be really cool. For sure, Val. I'll make sure to do that. Beautiful day here in Veleran. We're just going through the desert, trying to find some coconuts, trying to find some caves, trying to get some items. We're having a lot of fun. We got the we got the crew here just hanging out. Dominating. No big deal. We got a cabin over here in the desert, you know. That's just how we do it. And um, we're have we're having a lot of fun. Glad to see a lot of familiar faces here. Put fake platforms and blocks and psych levels lol. Oh, that's just evil. I remember this one level where I was just playing t uh, Super Tux. Whatever. This is Super t is Super Tux the one that's like Mario, yeah. Because um, they have the other ones, Super Tux Racing or whatever. But anyways, um, I was playing it, and it's those uh, ice cubes that you uh, jump on, and then they disappear from underneath you. That's the kind of trickery Joseph is coming up with. And then not only do you lose those platforms underneath you, you slide on the platforms because it's ice. How awesome is that? Not awesome at all. <laughs> all right, Sara, since we're all with the teasing new content. How do you like the man-eaters? Because judging by some of the models I've seen my friend mentioned working on, we might be seeing some new plant monsters along with the lines of that soon. All right. Oh, that's cool. I love man-eaters. I think they're one of the coolest mobs in the game, actually. Um, I don't see them as much because I just don't hang out. I, I feel like they're like closest to town for some reason. Maybe that's just the biome that they live in the most. So, um, yeah, I know there's no palm trees here. <laughs> What's going on here? We're in search of palm trees and they just el completely eluded us. Too bad those babo uh, trees don't uh, give out any coconuts. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about that. I'd love to see some more mobs, especially some more plant mobs. Why not? <laughs> Stay psyched right now, level in Super Mario Maker 2. Nice. Yep, that'd do it. Am I late? You're not late, Nitesh. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. Wait, coming to play? Sure, join us. We're uh, exploring the desert. They've regenerated the map, and uh, we're getting quite excited as we're exploring this new, beautiful world of, of Veloran here. Thanks for stopping in, Nitesh. Great to see you. Great to see you. Always come and join if you want to have some fun with us. That's what we're all about. definitely excited for uh, the next stream where hopefully we get to introduce some of that uh, testing branch. Hi there, Nosy. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping on in. Glad to see you again. You hacking away yet? What are you doing this uh, fine uh, day? Or create a fa level with a fake exit that kills you after the complete and a level of dialogue forcing you to look at the true exit. Oh, that's deep. 
that's very deep there, Joseph. <laughs> now you're just getting uh, now you're just getting deep on us. Sarah, there is a cave here. Should we let's let's go to our first cave, I guess. We can't find palm trees, so the next thing the next best thing is to get into that cave and completely demolish it. Cause we got the best team anyone has ever seen. The best team that anyone has ever seen. We got Coco Rum, <laughs> Sara, and Copcat. Troll, lol, 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 is what we're about to do. We're about to kill some trolls. Let's get in on that cave. I see this beautiful little uh, boulder hanging out. This is a little weird. Yeah, precarious is the right word. Oh, look at this, a little tiny bridge over the, over the cave. I like it. We got this boulder just hanging out, you know. Half, about halfway, ready to fall. Let's get into that cave, the Cave of Doom. AR123, welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. Hi there, hi there. All right, installed, reinstalled my Arctic base. All right, making moves. Level complete, psych. No, you should do level complete, you died. <laughs> Please start over. Yikes. Troll. Joseph's trolling on us. Giving us uh, the true treachery they're about to perform in making their super text levels. It's a great and free open source game that you can get fairly easy through almost any package manager. If you ever want to check out and play something that's very um, Mario, Super Mario-tesque, make sure to check that game out. It's awesome. And while you're checking that out, you need to check out Velorin at Velorin.net because it's a free and open source game developed in Rust. And as you can see here, it's quite beautiful, quite fun to play. You can explore, you can fight, you can PVP, you can kill mobs, you can do all sorts of stuff. You can explore new things getting added. Be part of the group who's first testing out this game in the pre-alpha phase. Even though it's in the pre-alpha phase, it's quite amazing nonetheless, nonetheless. Can't take anything away from it. Make sure to smash that like button if you're just stopping in. I know some of you are probably tabbed over. Tab in. Just hit that like button for me. Take a second. It just takes a second. Smash it for me. And then tab back out and just listen in on the stream if that's what you're working. How was work, Nick? You know what? It's going all right. It's quite busy at work, honestly. So that's one of the reasons this week I just struggled to get videos out because I was a little slow. It wasn't, it wasn't my usual self here. I only got two videos out, I think. I didn't even get a single C, C++ uh, for beginners video out. Sad day. But that's all right. We can't do it every week. Comes in, comes in waves. So yeah, work's been busy. Work's been busy getting some new people in and just training as well as my own work. All that fun stuff. Thanks for asking there, nosy. All right. Org, come on. What do you think you got against us? Enough. Invite. We can send an invite right away. Hold on, Xenial. We got you here. 36, not bad. You've really been at it. Not bad at all. We got Xenial joining the group. Should I take some levels that are very easy until you get to the section before the exit? Nearly impossible to navigate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, make it a huge stepping stone. So, like, you're stepping onto a boulder. It goes from, like, super easy to super freaking hard. People will have their minds blown. I love it. Joseph, we're on the same page here. Yeah, Nick, I'm skipping the C++ videos right now. Uh, I'll watch it together in like class sometime. Cool, cool to hear, all right. Hey there, Chilled Pink, thank you for stopping on in. Oh, eating a watermelon, man, where are you at? <laughs> Can't say I can get any watermelon around here right now. Amazing, yum. Sara, welcome. Oh, it's not Sarah, it's Sarah. Welcome to the stream, Sarah. Nice to see you here. Been a little while, thank you. 8K, yeah, we just hit 8K last week. We're already eight, what are we, eight one in? I don't know what we're in anymore. But uh, it's slowly building up to that 10K mark. Thank you again for that. Congratulations on the 8K. See your new font, there we go. I do see your new font. 
We got a new font for us almost every week now. Chill. <laughs> Sugar canes and watermelon. Man, you're having fun. Can't say I, I got coffee and water. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. I love the health bar. I really think that looks good. I like that color. Strawberry smoothie, as Val tells us. It looks quite good. I could use a strawberry smoothie right about now. After all of this fruit and sugar talk. Coming from Nosy. Hello there, crazy family. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping on in. We're just having some fun here. Hanging out in Velorin. Destroying these caves. Nothing stands a chance against us because, we're, you know, we're, we're the absolute best party that exists in this game. So, they... There's no chance. Nothing stands a chance here. They don't call us the operators for no reason. We get in here, we operate on these mobs, and we get out. That's how it works. Hello there, Dev. Welcome to the stream. Road to 9K, that's absolutely right there. Valorant should have sugarcane and watermelon. <laughs> oh, Sara's getting their ideas here from the stream. There you go, everyone. Throw some more out there. Yeah, that'd be kind of funny to just see uh, watermelon patches. I see those pumpkin patches, but you can't pick up pumpkins. Sad day. I don't know if they exist around town anymore, but uh, I've seen them before. Did you see that ogre trying to body slam Copcat? Nah, not today. Not today. Hello there, Doodlecraft. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping on in, stopping on by. Glad to see you once again. Got quite a few people joining in right now. Spam, spam, spam. Let's not spam too, too much now. Make sure other people can get into the chat so we can all talk and have fun together. Uh, and also, if you're having fun, you make sure to smash that like button for me because it does truly help me out because we get more people in and we have more fun. As you can tell, our parties have only been gaining here in the game. We've been exploring Velorin like mad. We got a new regeneration update with this uh, map here today. Quite the surprise. Like I said, we got plenty of updates. We got bats. We got skill trees coming. We got mobs. We got... We got... You say it, we got it. How about that? I'm not even going to go through everything. We got it all. It's all here. It's all coming. It's all coming to fruition. Welcome, welcome. Alrighty. Where are we at here? Am I going the right way? I am. You can get lost in this game real quick. Nosy wants a setup tour video. I could probably do that. Why am I not playing Genshin Impact? You know what? I'm not playing it because I just enjoy Bellerin so much. <laughs> Honestly, that's the only reason. And between everything that I uh, do, I just don't have the time to devote to more games. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like pick one or don't pick any, and I pick Bellerin. So that's kind of why. It's a fun game. Don't get me wrong. It's an awesome game. I just can't can't fit it all in the schedule, you know? There's a life to live and games to play. You got to choose one or the other sometimes. <laughs> all right. Valorant is a great tour. Music, please, Nick. Well, you can't hear that music in the background? I think there's music in the background coming directly from Valorant right now. I do have some really nice soundtracks that I've picked up from the YouTube studio. I might have to throw those in in the next stream. I think that'd be quite fun. And Nosy's telling me over here we need a face cam at 10K. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Next update, introducing Blacksmith. Please. So, what do you mean? Are, what are you talking about, Dev? Are you talking about in Valorant or are you talking about in... Uh, Chill ping, I can use your music. Well, thank you for that. Can't really get anything like that set up now just because we're already in game. Doesn't work quite that well. For some reason, I can't play any kind of media as soon as I get in the game. I guess it kind of takes takes the sound over. I don't know what's going on with it, honestly, but I've learned that. Got a Linux family going on. Arch and MX Linux on the main PC are like parent distros, spawning children distros 
in VirtualBox. My laptop is like Arch's brother. Nice, Joseph. <laughs> and Valorant, oh, gotcha. Yeah, so there are quite some awesome updates coming to our beautiful Valorant game as uh, Fao and Sara have teased us with. So um, getting quite excited to see all that, especially the skill tree set. Um, I think it might even be better than that uh, blacksmith that you're mentioning there, uh, Dev. Voxel games are quite great. Yes, they absolutely are quite great. And the reason they are is it's so awesome how you can develop so fast in them. I mean, these models and people are just really good with voxel art. And I don't know. It's quite fascinating what they've done. And this, the generation in here, the it's just, it's it's everything's so cool. I don't know. I love it. I love what people have done with these voxel games. I don't know what the blacksmith does. You might have to ask uh, Dev on that one. I kind of assumed uh, they were talking about maybe like being able to craft swords and stuff like that. Maybe they have an NPC blacksmith. Maybe that's what they're talking about. I'm not 100% sure. Dev, let us know. All right. We're heading on up. Heading on up. Climb. Climb. There we go. I think we're going... You think we're resurfacing here? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll see daylight once again. Maybe not. Maybe... Oh, oh, oh. Nope, nope, nope. Am I stuck? Please don't tell me I'm stuck. I'm climbing, but I'm kind of stuck. I, I don't know what's going on here. This is real tricky here. What the heck do we have going on? <laughs> I can't see anything. Oh, no. This is not good, everyone. Okay, I can, I can do this. I can do this. I still see some way up here. Slow but steady. Running out of mana. I gotta regen here. I have no idea how Coco Rum and Cop Cat have made it up. Look at this. This looks like Inception or something. What the heck are we? Besides stuck in this thing. Oh my gosh. I'm freaking out. I'm claustrophobic. I don't know what to do. I'm stuck here in this hole. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> as an open source game like Valorant it takes it a notch up absolutely agree it's quite fascinating whoa man whoa the stars and stuff well Sara and I are here and stuck let's see well this is a wide opening are we just back at the beginning honestly that's what I assume <laughs> Sara and I have no idea what, where we're at or what we're doing. Can you make it further up? Oh, sorry, I found the way. And I'm falling again. All right, here we go. Hey, Nick, can we join the adventure? Absolutely. Circa, or is it Sit Sissa? I don't know how to pronounce that. I will be adding you right away. Welcome, welcome. Joker, I guess you want to join in too? Absolutely. It's a long way up. Well, I can tell. I mean, jeez. Where are we? What is happening? I can't see anything. All right. This looks like the way up. But I have no idea if it's the correct way up. Okay. Where are we at? Are we stuck? It looks like we're stuck here. Is it, is it on this direction? Maybe in this direction? Nope. All right, we got triceps would like to join as well. Let's see what the max is here. I don't know if we're, we're running out of room here in the party. I added Joker, I added uh, you as well. I'll show you on the map where we're at. Right here in the desert. We're hanging out. Let's see. The Cave Lonk Grotto is what it is. So uh, make sure to uh, head over there. All right. So now... Oh, wait. Sara found it. I think Sara found it. Oh, I'm lost. Okay. I see Copcat. Copcat's here to save us. Found the way out. Where's Sara? 
I see that they're telling me, oh, okay, okay, okay. Wow, we were way off. <laughs> we made it up here into this uh, cave dwelling, but we just didn't know how to get further up, but uh, we're finding it now. 600 seems to be the party limit. Well, I don't think we're going to get 600 people in, but thanks for letting me know there. Uh, I'm just going to call you C for now, and thanks for letting me know, C. All right, Coco Rum's here spreading the health amongst us. Oh my gosh, look at this. Now we're talking. This is picture worthy. Everyone come back. I want pictures. Absolutely beautiful here in Velerin. Look at this little cave dwelling here. Absolutely beautiful. Hello, hello, hello. Now we're talking. My gosh. And we got the best song in the game coming up. Everybody take a moment to dance, 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 dance. All right, last person, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Does it get much better than this? The world is on fire. It's our last days. The apocalypse is near. Welcome to the stream of doom. We got everyone dancing. Why not? It's a great song here, great song. And thanks everyone for stopping in on the stream today. As you can see, we're having tons of fun here in our beautiful little party. We got six, I think six or seven people now joining in with us. We got tons of people in the chat. Make sure to take a moment and put that, smash that like button for me. Subscribe, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I know most of you aren't subscribed. You're not, you're not fooling me. Take a second, what's it hurt? Nothing, you just get good content, that's about it. 95% of people are not. Uh, subscribed in on here. Oh, we got a ruined cabin up here. Sara says we'll check that out. Look at this a little bit. I don't know if it's. Uh oh. What's going on with my graphics card? Maybe it's just the lighting. That looks trippy. Look at those blocks. They're like staggered. They got the little lines in between them. Very cool. Very cool. How to join. So if you want to join in on the fun, make sure to check out Velerin.net where you can download Velerin as well as Air Shipper, their updater. Um, automatic updater so all you have to do is uh, really just download Airshipper and it'll download everything for you but uh, it's available for Linux Mac and Windows so play it on whatever you like that is a ruined cabin if I've ever seen one half of it's gone half of it's here I don't know what came out of the cave and just destroyed it but it did very scary we, we got to get out of here man loot in the chimney really it was a plain necklace nice Someone was living there and they, I guess they died. That's very sad. There's a full on cabin over here. Nothing ruined. Interesting. All right, so we got to kind of, let's see. Copcat wanted some, Copcat wanted some coconuts. So we need to get by the river, I think. So we need to go back west. So let's go southwest. That way we can get some coconuts, some coconuts. Thank you, Nosy. I know you're subscribed. I can see it actually. <laughs> Anytime you chat with me, I can see whether you're subscribed. Believe me, I get to the people who subscribe first before I answer questions from other people. Not that I don't answer questions because you can definitely see I, I've hardly missed any questions from people unless they're just ridiculous. Let's go to the coast, to the east. Okay, we can do that. You think there are gonna be coconut trees over there, Sara? Because if there are, I'm down. Tree spawn. Oh, can spawn near the ocean. All right, yeah, let's do that then. I'd rather see the ocean. You are right. And I can see it out in the distance into that beautiful sun. I can see it over the horizon. This is going to be great. Doodlecraft, hopefully you understand how to go and grab yourself Velerin. Let me know if you need... Some more help with that. Could probably post, actually why not post the, uh, here is the website. Some browsers can't play YouTube live. Yeah, you know what? I have trouble with Firefox myself. 
Oh no, Copcat. F's in the chat, everyone. Copcat spilled their drink. Hopefully, hopefully they didn't damage anything. F, 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 F. All right. Welcome to the stream there, Sandro. Glad to see you here. Look at that beautiful ocean out there in the distance. How wild, how beautiful. We're gonna take another screenshot here. So pitch, picturesque. Let's see, I could get maybe on this platform here. Yeah, that's a little better. You know, just doing a little photo shoot. My little model here. All right. Is Firefox becoming a dumpster fire? <laughs> Lately, I feel like I've had a lot of trouble with Firefox, but you know, it's still a nice thing that they do give us this free and open source. Um, web browser that we can all use and you know they care about our privacy at least a little bit they're not like google we're like ah eh, forget about it we're just taking everything that you do and just uh, logging it so um i'm hoping all right we're trying to follow sara i have no idea where we're going welcome back cop cap hopefully everything's all right over there is Google or Facebook worse? Man, I don't know. That's a hard one, in my opinion. <laughs> They're just as bad. I don't know. I don't know if I could even pick one, honestly. I don't like either company. But uh, they're a very part, big part of our lives today. Well, honestly, for me, not Facebook. I, I don't think I've ever... I don't know if I've... I don't know the last time I've used Facebook. It's been years. Don't have an account. Don't have anything over there. Privacy is illegal to them, quite, quite. That's how they, yeah, that's how they make their money. Not keeping you private, selling your uh, information to get you ads. That's exactly right. Hopefully, we still have our our other two members here. Slowly coming up, triceps and um, who, where is the other one? Oh yeah, C, you're still on. Okay, good. Like C. I thought we lost C for a second there. Oh, no. <laughs> That's an interesting way of looking at Google and Facebook, huh? Google knows how to cheat, and Facebook is like the reckless bully. They just do whatever they want. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how much longer Facebook is going to make it, man. They just... They are just... Doing things on one of those it's like they're on a rope and they're ready to fall off and they're just teetering across a huge canyon they're trying to make it across they can't i don't know they don't take a stand on anything and they let any, any everything go and i don't know there's there's a lot there the privacy portion is probably the worst part they just sell your data to anyone and everyone and of course now they have more and more platforms involved they keep buying more and more companies trying to make more and more money Competition gets less and less. It's sad all around, but whatever. Not here to talk about that. Yeah, they're all pretty bad, Joseph, in my opinion. They all have the same practices. Buy up as much of the competition as you can. Who's going to become the ultimate monopoly first? I think that's the name of the game at this point. They absolutely do that. I agree with you. Yeah, they're not innovating. They're just buying. I'm agreeing with you there, Sandro. Got a bunch of people on here. Make sure to take a moment. We've got more people on here than likes. So that means uh, take a second to uh, go and smash that like button. We're at the coast here. How beautiful is this? Got the mountainside with the beautiful trees. And then you got the coast at the bottom. Right hand side. Pioneering doesn't pay. <laughs> No, it doesn't seem to pay nowadays, but hey, there's still people doing it. That's the awesome part, especially with the open source nowadays. They're really pioneering some stuff. I mean, you got to give it to those selfless people out there who are constantly developing stuff for us, just like Valorant and their whole development team. Quite awesome. Thank you so much, everyone and anyone who's ever contributed to this game. You've done a great job. 
gotta give that shout out. Got to give that shout out. We're heading to the coast here. Beautiful coast. Landing on in, we'll just fly a little bit so we don't die. And we are, we are here on the far east side of the map. We've made it, we've made it. Still haven't seen a coconut tree or a palm tree. I feel like dying trying to come to you. <laughs> see how Exedial, you've been having the journey of your life. It's like you're doing the Lord of the Rings. What is it? Some Mordor trying to get there. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. <laughs> I like how Joseph is saying they're now corrupting drives. They've been doing that for uh, decades now. <laughs> it's called putting Microsoft Windows on your computer. Bye bye drive. Bye bye. I think this is the wrong desert type. Copcat, I'm starting to agree with you. Definitely agreeing. Maybe what we should all do is town. That way we can all group back up together and then we can make our way out to something else. What do you think about that? Let me know in the chat. If you're new and stopping by, take a second. Think about this. Do I want to watch these streams more? Yeah. Okay. Then go down there and hit that subscribe button. That way you can watch these streams when they come live. Get a little bit of a notification. And you can join in on the fun. You know, I tried posting an hour to 30 minutes before the stream actually takes place. That way people can come in and join and have fun. Just like we are today with Sara, Coco Rum, Cop Cat, myself, and a couple of others who are new and joining us today. Thank you so much for doing that. All right, I haven't heard anything from anyone in the chat. Do we want to? Yeah. Okay, Copcat saying, yeah. So let's, let's take a second. I'm a swim. <laughs> let's jump in. Wow, I did a backflip. Did you see that? Oh my gosh, I just did a backflip. I'm doing it again. We're gonna do some, we're gonna do a little bit of swim real quick before we get too far out. Hello, hello there, Alex. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. I did another backflip. How cool is that? Didn't get a good as good of a vantage point today, but thank you for stopping in today. Uh, Doodlecraft is suggesting to play Exotic. Exotic. Never heard of it. What's it about? What does it pertain to? Is it fun? Is it an RPG? Is it a thriller? Is it a horror game? Is it... What is it? There we go. Let's swim to the Undying Lands. Where is that at? All right. Whoa, what's that underneath? Whoa. What is this sphere? Look at this thing. You know, I haven't spent much time in the water, and I think they've made this a lot better. I didn't even know you could swim upside down. How cool is that? <laughs> Wait, what happened to that thing? It disappeared on us. The orb. The shiny orb. It's gone. Someone planted that. I don't know what that was. Uh, interesting swimming technique. <laughs> Wait until the coral reef is in. I know we were talking about that earlier there, Sara. When is it? Give us a hint. We're all excited. I want those coral reefs. I want those plants. It's going to look great. White beautiful. Let's see how far it goes down over here. It's pretty far, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Smart move on your part there, Alex. Smart move on your part. It looks funny, sure does. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got that awesome song coming back on. I thought this only existed inside of caves. All right. Here we go. Now we're getting some likes in. Thanks so much for everyone who's stopping in and hitting that like button. I do appreciate it. All right, so.
Do we have a plan on where we're going at this point? What do you got, Copcat? What are you seeing? Ooh. Oh man, I missed it. Let's watch Copcat jump in. I assume that's what they're trying to do. Oh! <laughs> they just did a. Oh, look, he's just floating here. Front flip? Well, I didn't see a front flip on mine. Try it again. It didn't it didn't quite load the front flip on my screen. Level 5 dungeon. Oh man. Hey savvy people, it's savvy Nick here. You're stuck. How'd you, how'd you get stuck? Copcat, you did not get stuck. You're joking. <laughs> I think Copcat just found a bug. Welcome to the stream, MK. Thanks so much for stopping by. It's great to see you here today. Great to see everyone joining in, having fun with us. We got people trying. Oh, Exenio Coco Rum. We're missing a. Wait a second. CC, you're still there. Triceps, you're still there. How come I don't see your slots in here? Maybe I'm just missing something. Oh my gosh. Copcat, you can make it. Come on, Copcat. We might have to town. <laughs> we might have to town. If you two want to go in through the uh, dungeon, feel free. Oh, Xenial just flew in with their bat glider. Just flew on it. Wait a second. Th please don't tell me Xenial went this whole way and they got stuck. All right. We got, we got both members. We're back. We're back into this. Copcat barely made it. Xenial comes flying in saying, who cares? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we're going towards the dungeon. I don't know what to say. After the dungeon, we town. How about that? How about that, everyone? All right, all right, all right, all right. 21 viewers right now. We're hitting an all-time record high. Welcome, everyone who's joining in right now, having fun with us. We're about to hit the Dungeon of Doom, about to have some fun in our dungeon. Then we're going to go to town and do a little bit more exploration. We're having a lot of fun here in Velorin. Why not join in on the fun with this free and open source game available to anyone and everyone on Velerin.net. You can contribute, you can play, you can bug bust, you can have fun with us on these streams. So make sure to subscribe below so you can have fun on these streams so you know when they're coming up because we have a lot of fun, as you can tell. All right, let's get out of here. We got, whoa. We got bombs being thrown. We got all sorts of fun stuff. You got to run, run. I'm trying to avoid this. Ah, <laughs> we're being bombarded right now. We're just trying to get into the castle. We're just trying to get into the castle. Oh my gosh. We're be ah! <laughs> oh, we barely made it. We barely made it. Let's get into the dungeon of doom, everyone. Absolutely beautiful outside. Absolutely beautiful. But we're going in to the deep layers of the abyss where we will take on the hardest monsters in this game of Velorin. Time to get some items. Time to kill some mobs. Time to have some fun. Anyone have a can of rage? <laughs> yeah, we need to get rid of that cockroach that keeps spawning in our chat. I use Arch Linux now for, I've used the Arcify script. Uh, Welcome country, <laughs> crunchy. <laughs> I'm just gonna call you crunchy, that's, that's hilarious. What a name. This dungeon is gonna be nothing here. Nothing for us. Rock and stone to the bone. <laughs> I like that. When you land in water after doing a special move, you get stuck in the move and you can barely move. Interesting. Leroy Jenkins! Again, we just go in and we just have fun. 
Lol, no! Coco Rum's not about to have this. We're having a we're having a Jenkins moment right now, everyone. Do I feel that there are too many Linux distributions out there? Yeah, I actually do, honestly. Um, I mean, everybody, anybody and everybody who thinks that they have something special going on with their setup likes to create a Linux distribution. And honestly, good for them. You know, like, if they're having fun, if they like maintaining their Linux distribution, great. But a majority of them you're not going to use, at least if you plan on being productive and using it for what it was intended for. You know, playing games, having a little bit of fun, being a little productive, programming, all that fun stuff. Um, otherwise, unless you're some kind of enthusiast of operating systems and you just like exploring stuff, I mean, that's about the only place I can see you really, really getting into exploring all these various different types. Yeah, exactly. Hannah Montana Linux distribution. There's a Taylor Swift Linux distribution. There's a Justin Bieber Linux distribution. Tell me that the tell me that there aren't some useless ones out there. Of course, their gags are funny. They're hilarious, but it's just funny to me. I'll be the one to go in and tank first. Copcat has that confidence with that 1K health at level 206. Is there a Chuck Norris? Really? I didn't even know that one. How funny is that? Even better. Just when you think you have it all, you get Chuck Norris in the mix. Oh, Copcat's not messing around here. They are definitely tanking everything. Bet they all got a Patreon. No way. I could see that. No doubt. There's always someone willing to support <laughs> a fan of maybe maybe Hannah Montana herself. I forgot what their name is, but maybe maybe Taylor Swift fans or Taylor Swift herself is uh, supporting the Linux distribution. You never know. Maybe that was the intent. <laughs> oh, for sure. They're trolls and jokes. We all know that. It's just funny that they even exist. Copcat leading the way. Nothing stands a chance in this dungeon of doom. Oh, here we go. Copcat's bringing them back in for us. Yeah, destroyed. Not today, bud. Warlock versus Warlock. Wow. This hall doesn't stand a chance. Can you imagine someone like, wow, all that money, you gonna buy a new house? No, I'm just gonna go onto the Justin Bieber <laughs> distro and contribute to their Patreon. Yeah, that'd be a wild freaking, oh, I'm not gonna save any money, forget it. I'd rather give it to the Justin Bieber Patreon. <laughs> Oh, wow. What if it's a deep, deep state thing where it's like, it's actually Justin Bieber and they're just trying to make a little extra money. So they got a Patreon set up for themselves and you get uh, extra content because they're a true uh, Linux fan and they just wanted their own Linux distribution. You never know. It's possible. It's possible. I might just have to stop over at the Le at Justin Bieber Patreon later just to give a little bit of support. <laughs> Oh, man. Ah, I'm stuck. There we go. Feels very early 2000s. It sure does. <laughs> Reminds me of an article. A couple buy a vacuum cleaner for over 4K in the US and look stupid in the picture. Made me burst out of laughter. Yeah, if you're buying a $4,000 vacuum, you need to rethink a couple things, a couple priorities. 
What do you need a $4,000 vacuum for? Does it vacuum the whole entire house itself? I mean, not even a Roomba is $4,000. No, I can't say that I've ever used one or even know how much they cost, but still, I can't imagine they're four grand. Get a nice used car for about four grand. Get you everywhere you need to go. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, it would be nice if, um, you know, they took some of those resources. But then again, let's think of it this way. Sometimes people just need to experiment on their own in order to get really good at what they're doing and then be able to contribute. So it's not all a bad thing. It's just, um, it's just a different approach, that's all. Let's look at it that way. Let's heal up Copcat real quick. They've been doing all the tanking here. Come on, everybody. Let's use our powers together. <laughs> Satish, welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you very much. Uh, their response, I thought it was an investment. Yeah, real good investment. Real good investment. Something that uh, gets used and uh, can eventually fail. That's never an investment. Never an investment. <laughs> Anything that can get used and uh, ends up with wear and tear, you can almost, unless it's some kind of a classic thing. I don't know. There's someone who could buy anything and everything. So maybe it is an investment. We don't know. We don't live in the vacuum life. Unless we got a vacuum connoisseur here to tell us how it really is. I don't think we know. Some distros like Linux Mint fair in OS and MX Linux could stay, though. Yeah, I think they will. There's definitely a niche for, you know, just about anything, so. A lot of these distros have their own little fan bases, and again, I think it's a nice stepping stone for, you know, brand new developers, brand new people getting into everything. It's a good place to jump off of, you know? Start first developing there and then, uh, you know, move on to the bigger distribution, see if you can contribute there as well, if that's something you wanna do. All right. We're heading down into one of the final layers here in the Dungeon of Doom. We got CC and we got Triceps coming on in. All right, great to see you finally joining us. They've made the trek across the lakes as well as Let's see, they started somewhere here, across the ridges, across the rivers and more ridges, down through the deserts, again, ridges, caves, monsters, and they finally made it into the Dungeon of Doom. Welcome. Keshley, welcome to the stream. Glad to see you here. Yum yum, welcome, welcome, welcome. Absolutely glad to see you. Thanks for stopping in and uh, saying um <laughs> mint is good for uh, windows users due to the windows xp environment we got we got saras yelling at people saying come join the party we're in the dungeon absolutely let's have fun i think we're about to hit up that last part of the dungeon it's gonna get real crazy everyone it's gonna get real crazy <laughs> Joseph Joseph doesn't have any chill for these distros <laughs> like so distros like chaos Netrunner and X ticks can be dumped in the garbage though yikes not today they don't Joseph doesn't want those uh, distros around anymore all right we are okay I think that's a good idea Sara they're almost here let's wait a moment let's take on the very last portion of this dungeon with the whole entire party they've made the trek we might as well do them the favor of waiting and having some fun with us because it's about to get crazy down here in the last portion of the dungeon let's all heal up make sure we're all good i think our uh, idea might be yes so we're gonna heal up copcat then we're gonna also in the final stage copcat's gonna go for the aggro boss right in the middle the hardest thing and we're gonna heal him up we're really gonna leroy jenkins this thing so if you're just stopping in to watch us and you're having fun make sure to smash that like button before we all die here um we're doing this for you we're doing this for you to have some fun everybody's getting excited all right heal up heal up copcat's got a ton of health and we got barely any mana 
<laughs> Hopefully triceps and... Oh my. Triceps is dying. Uh, where's Sara? You're saying over here, over here. Hurry everyone, we might need to help someone. Come on, triceps, you can make it, you can make it, you can make it, you can make it, you can make it. No, please don't die on us, don't die on us. You got this, triceps. You got this. Sorry, where are we? Why over here? This is not where they're at. <laughs> oh no. Triceps, you've made it all this way. It's probably because the mobs probably respawned or something up top. Well, looks like it's up to them. Will those brave characters make it down? Stairs are over here. We're just waiting for, um, well, hopefully waiting for CC and triceps. I see them. I see, I see CC and I see triceps coming on in. I think they're going to make it, everyone. I think they're going to make it. And we're about to go to the final level of the Dungeon of Doom. Welcome, everyone. If you're just stopping in, make sure to check this game out at Bellerin.net so you can have fun, just like we're doing today. Let's all heal up. We're going to the very last level here. We're going to have Copcat run down first. They're going to start tanking things, and then we're all just going to heal up Copcat and try killing things all together, all right? We got a good party going here. I think we're about to do this. Everybody, I think we're ready. We're ready, Copcat. If you're ready, we're following. We're taking your lead. You go down first, and we'll follow. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Let's get excited. Let's get the chat going. Leroy Jenkins. That's right. We got Copcat screaming it out in the chat as we go down to the final level. It's going to be a psych out, actually. It's probably not going to be the final level, and we're just going to have to laugh here. Charge. Oh. Oh, maybe we... Yep. We just psyched you out. It's not the final level quite yet. <laughs> oh. All right. That's all right. We're, we're just practicing. We're just practicing here. It's good to have the whole party here and to practice real quick. <laughs> oh, you just got baited. We didn't, we didn't mean to, but you just got baited. Very sorry. We're gonna be doing it in just a moment. We gotta take on this level before we get down to the very final level. Look at this party. That's right. This party is fantastic. So many of us, we got what seven people in the party we're doing quite well we're still sticking to what we planned here we're just following the cop cat around making sure that they're healed up let's see archbase distros are becoming redundant uh, you know what i can kind of agree with that statement i'm not gonna lie what is the one thing that makes Windows absolutely better than Linux? Uh, well, the compatibility of uh, win of all the programs that you could ever want. That's what makes uh, things better. Python won't give me my account back. What are you talking about? Cashly, what, what, what do you mean? Uh, would be neat if some base distros would work more on computers. A big letdown for uh, Linux. That's right, Sandra. Just trying to catch up in the chat, sorry. Uh, why do people create new package managers? Well, they think they can do it a better way. That's why. Um, and I think Pac-Man is probably the absolute best package manager. And you can tell, you know, like, there, it just it just offers um, easier package installation, easier package maintenance. Um, you know, it, it doesn't go through all these extra hoops. Um, it's easy to check out what packages are installed on your system. It's actually really easy to maintain those packages that are on your system, get rid of them or add them. It doesn't fail. So that's why people develop better uh, package managers because they're needed. Now, do many get successful at it? Absolutely not. Level 207, baby. That's right. Copcat just hit 207 before we hit that very last layer inside of the Dungeon of Doom. We got the whole entire party here doing work. Doing work. Where are we at, Copcat? Where are we at? Well, we got some people over here. Um, and to keep going on the chat, Le Debian and Arch will need to make it compatible with almost computers to no matter what vendor. How many uses for non-Debian or Arch-based types of Linux? Um, how many users? Oh, how many users or uses? I'm not sure what you mean. 
if you can clarify on that one, Sandro, maybe I can answer that. My laptop would not install Endeavor OS, probably because of the Wi-Fi connection. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, we really baited today. Oh, we can't get to the final. <laughs> all we can do is cry at this point. We made it all the way down here after the treacherous run down through the desert, through the mountain ridge sides, through all of this, just to figure out we have a bugged stairs. We can't make it down to the last level. Let's all sit around here and type Fs in the chat because this is a sad day. We were all so excited to get in here, to have fun, to make it to the last level. <laughs> we, we couldn't do it. We couldn't do it. Now everyone's trying to throw fires at this. Maybe throw some bombs, do something. We need to destroy this so we can get down into the bottom. We'll build our own stairs if we have to. If you buy from Star Labs, pretty much all Linux distributions will work flawlessly. Strangely, with System76, they focus on distros like Ubuntu instead of the base. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, I haven't really tried those computers out. Don't know what to say. I love GNOME, but Plasma is not for me. How many do you think uses Linux distros that is neither based on Arch or Debian? How many, uh, let's see. How many, like, people? Not many, honestly. I mean, Debian is, like, the genesis of all uh, Linux distributions. I don't know. I mean, I would tell you it's, like, probably 1% of people probably use something that's not... Debian or Arch based, honestly. I couldn't imagine much more. I mean, you really have to be out in the weeds if you want, uh, you know, if you're, if you're really truly searching for something that's completely unrelated, independent, like Void or uh, Gentoo or uh, Slackware. I don't think Slackware is developed on anything or anything, um, anything like that. Maybe for servers though, because RHEL, that, that's pretty popular. Pretty popular for servers. So if you're not talking about everyday users. The Pac-Man. I also love the name. We're having a sad day here in the game. We couldn't make it down to the very last level of this Dungeon of Doom. That's all right, though. We're still having a lots of fun. And if you're having fun, make sure to take a moment and hit that like button for me. <laughs> we got members here trying to spam the chat for an admin just to try helping us out to get to the very bottom of things here. We were so excited to uh, get through this Dungeon of Doom. But I don't know. I don't know. Look at all of us here, just waiting around. Here, I brought a mob for us to kill. <laughs> Better doing something than nothing, right? We've dropped all of our items off in, uh, in tribute to this beautiful monument that we've ran into that's not allowing us to go downstairs. It's just a sad day. If we can't vote to get in, I vote to have a fight to the death in here. Ooh. I like that. I like that a lot. And then we can all home. In order to roll, just press your middle slider button on the mouse. Middle click to roll. That's right. All right. How about we wait a couple more minutes to see if anyone can help us out. And if they can't, let us fight to the death. Where's everyone going now? Everyone's just going their own separate ways. My friend uses OpenSue for uh, programming. Interesting. What is the purpose of do? 
What purpose do these outsider distros serve aside from being different? Um, well, they have their own philosophies on how to manage packages usually. And, um, you know, they might be meant for something different. They have different intentions. So, yeah, it's just people's philosophies. That's really what they serve. They serve to to live on, to live out the philosophy of what some person thinks. I'm going back to the top of the dungeon. All right, we can do that. Oh no, cocoa rum. Self-inflicted wounds. What did you do? How far back did you <laughs> How far back did you go? Little tip, go to the character selection screen, then back on top, you'll spawn at the campfire. Oh, that's a good idea. I totally forgot about that. I don't know if I'll lose the party that way. try doing that then I think I just need to go to characters hit interworld this is interesting never tried this before we're going right back into Valorant everybody welcome 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 if you're just stopping in welcome all right I am by a campfire in the middle of nowhere so that's good <laughs> oh man I really did it to me now hey camel how you doing weird to see you here I guess you got some greens right by you Pretty cool camel if you ask me. I do have one last collar here. Let me see if I can use it. I'm gonna tame this camel. Oh, oh, camel, you following me? It's following me. Can I mount it? Oh, dang it, I can't mount the camel. That'd be so cool. Riding a camel throughout the desert. How awesome would that be? Check it out. I got my camel here, my camel and I. No, Copcat, I did not. <laughs> oh, no, I got... I'm way out here. I'm in the desert, just enjoying things here with my camel, taking some pictures, having some fun. We're enjoying the beautiful scenic routes, or scenic uh, views that we're seeing here. Thanks uh, so much for everyone who's joining in. Make sure to subscribe below if you haven't already. I know 95% of you aren't subscribed. You might as well do it. I mean, you join in on these streams. Is it? Anyway... All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna town. Home it is for me. Back to the beginnings. Uh, back into the prey tet. Hey, what's up? What's up? <laughs> Why not? Maybe we can add this person in too. Oh, everyone's here. Alrighty then. Who started? Is this someone start a party or am I still the party leader? I don't know. All right, let's see here. Oof, we got. Uh... Thunderdome, Thunderdome, Thunderdome. Mitsu, seven men and one man out. Want to bring up the bad side of Linux? like the elitist mentality amongst its users and its reputation for being so hard to use and install. So uh, I think I talked about this a little bit last stream or maybe two streams ago when we were doing the interview with um, with Josh. Um, yeah, there's definitely a little bit of elite, elitism, but I think it's been kind of going away after the, oh, sorry, Xenial. Um, I think it's slowly starting to become less and less, honestly. 
I mean, it's still it's still there, but um, definitely not as much as it used to be. Where everybody who thought they could install Arch Linux was thinking uh, they were something special, and we got a ton of people in game. And it was like, you know, the whole meme arch, by the way, comes out of that uh, elitism, you know? People just thought they were better than others because they could install arch and not, you know, others couldn't. Like, how funny is that? How, like, conceited is that? It's a little, it's a little conceited in my book anyway. But um, I don't know that that's a, that's a big thing. Like, I love the fact that it became such a meme because it really shut people up too. <laughs> um, anyways, um, there's not much to talk about it. We all know it's there still. We know there's people who think they're, uh, better for having Gentoo and uh, Arch Linux installed and they know how to get around and stuff. It's like, focus your time on helping people, not on, uh, you know, uh, acting like you're better. So, I don't like RPM packaging. Some of the applications not compatible with Fedora and OpenSU. That's not really a Linux exclusive problem in my opinion. Yes, but essential tools are available on all Linux distributions. By the way, I use Debian. <laughs> Deb, by the way. All right, are we all here? I think we all are here. All right, so what do we want to do? We want to do a free for all. It's one of it's. If I feel like this is a free for all moment, we all just go crazy in town. We got a nice arena here. I don't like the fact that we have all these buildings around us. Can we find a flatter space without any buildings? Because I'd like to kind of make a video here too, as well as the, of this. So let's let's go. Let's someone find something very. Let's see, flat. I'm thinking, where are we here? I'm thinking if we go right about here, just the one ridge over, it looks like a ton of flat ground, but I don't know. Nah, I don't wanna, the desert's pretty far away. I'm thinking right here, look at that. Right here looks like a ton of flat area. Unless someone disagrees. So that would say we go due east. Or wait. Let's go due east. Follow us if you, yes, exactly. Follow us if you want to PvP. We're about to have an epic moment with about eight people here in Velorin. We're going to have a PvP event and are going to uh, do an absolute free for all. We're all going to get out of this party. We're all going to just destroy each other we're going east we're just getting across the river across the ridge and then we will be there come join in if you're just stopping by to watch this pvp event unfold make sure to take a second go down to the bottom we got plenty of likes but we need some more we need more people joining in on this stream realizing what velerin really is and how fun it is so make sure to do that right now thanks so much for stopping in and watching this today Half the server is on, it looks like. It sure does. I'm quite excited. Let's go, everyone. It's gonna, you know what? It's gonna be really tricky because I don't have, uh, like, any health potions or anything. Uh-oh. This is not, not coming up with excuses, but I am getting wrecked, like, right away. Just picked up an apple. All right. Prepare for Mortal Kombat. That's right. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Do an underwater battle. Ooh, that kind of sounds cool. Can we fight? Copcat versus all. You know what? I'm still yet to post that video, but I have a very short, hopefully people will enjoy this, but I have a very short video with Copcat and um, Sara going quite wild. Sara almost had Copcat in the last time we did this PVP event, and it was so close. Copcat was down to like two health, and Sorry, came out of nowhere with some bombs. Started throwing those down. And I don't know how Copcat made it out, but they crafted bombs on the fly. They still took out Sara, unfortunately. Sara saying underwater combat sucks at the moment, so maybe not underwater quite yet. Maybe when we get those corals in, it'd be funner. Uh, if you buy Chrome OS computers, is it safe to assume other Linux will work too? Um... Yeah, I think you can get Linux working on it. I, I've never tried that actually, but um, I've also heard people having issues with that. I'm not sure why, but I don't under, well, maybe they just have the boot. You know what it is? They probably have the BIOS locked down pretty tight. And um, I don't know if you can really access it as, as much as you would 
like to in order to install an operating system. So maybe that's the problem with those. If I know Nick, I guess he dislikes Google making a Linux of their own. Absolutely. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What a joke. Just another way for them to spy on us. I mean, even Android. Like, come on. Sure, it's open source and all that, but you don't think you don't think Google has their hands in on that a little bit? Hmm. Hmm. Really thinking here. We're going into this field over here to have a free for all. That's right, a free for all. We're having a one. We're having an eight eight player free for all. I might be counting that wrong, but I'm gonna say eight anyway. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> Xenial wants to make a glider formation in the sky. Well, we kind of really needed to make um, a plan before we did that. So we're real close. Let's get a little closer to the river, everyone. I think that'll be a little more open, it seems like. I think I'm seeing some openness, hopefully. We might be in between the trees, which might make this a little more tactical. It might be fun. Hey there, Keshley, welcome back. All commercial PCs spy on you in some way. Absolutely they do, but I think just some spy a little bit more <laughs> and less than others. So, um, of course, Microsoft spies on you. Come on. They make you sign up for a Microsoft account before you can even enter into the operating system if you have a um, internet connection at the beginning. They don't even let you get past that. How insane is that? You can't make a local account anymore? How? What a joke. You have to go through loops and hoops in order to... Uh, in order to install, you know, Windows with a local account. How funny is that? Instead, they just want you access to the internet with your account. So it looks like we are going down here and we're ready to fight. This is going to be quite the battle. This is the perfect place. Look at this. We have an arena ready for us. Um, is there a campfire nearby? All right, everybody, try finding a campfire real quick. That way, if we die, we can still watch the battle, you know? Because if we die and then we just go to town, that would suck. Everyone spread out and look for a campfire. We'll meet back here in a moment. So, I mean, Sara, I, I do agree. Like, I don't think there's any hardware that's actually spying on you. In my personal opinion, that's a little hard to do. I mean, you, you got you got to expect a lot to happen with that hardware in order to for it to be able to spy. Uh, okay, CopCap found one. Everyone, go to CopCap um, in order for it to really spy on you. But here's here's the part where it's like um, interesting. It's the operating system that's running that hardware, you know? That's super easy to put something in like telemetry. And you get asked all those questions when you're first installing Windows or when you're first installing anything. Even Ubuntu itself, you know, they gather certain parts of uh, data. They say it's for anonymous, you know, use for crashes and all that fun stuff. But... At the same time, do they really need that? <laughs> I don't think they do. I think they're gathering more than they're needing to gather, in my opinion. Yes, I, I like the way you said that. Instead of being universally paranoid, so it's it's not going to do you any well being paranoid. We all know that crap, cra that crap exists. So let's heal everyone up. Instead of being paranoid, oh man, I'm sorry, Gemu. Okay, everyone. I'm sorry about that. Uh, let's exit the party. I don't remember how to. Instead of being eternally mo- I'm sorry, Gemu. I just saw that. I was trying to heal them up. They weren't in the party, okay? But now they're full health, so it worked out. Instead of being paranoid, just know what your risk level is. Know what you're comfortable doing and using. And read up on- Read up about it if you are paranoid. And make sure that you're comfortable with that level of- um, level of use and then just use it i mean there's no point millions and millions billions of people use these operating systems i'm all healed up we're all sitting healing up we're about to have the craziest battle that you have ever seen here in velorin basically an eight free for all we're just going to have a lot of fun here let's take some pictures while we're at it before we head on out to battle. This is a pretty cool photo here. 
Might be using this for one of the thumbnails here soon. Just staring off into the distance. The beautiful sky in the background. This is where warriors have come to fight and die. Welcome everyone to the stream. All right, let's get going. We're going to the middle over here where we found that flat rounded area. We're gonna get out of this party and we're gonna have some fun. The calm before the storm. That's correct. <laughs> There's about to be a storm, everybody. There's about to be a storm. It's brewing. I got my bets on Copcat for some reason here. But I think if we all jump Copcat at the beginning, we all stand a chance. Just throwing it out there. Now nah, let's do all, just a free for all so I can watch this madness unfold. Maybe we have two of them, I don't know. I'd like to tape one just to have fun. I'm gonna start recording on my own here and all right, let's, how do we leave the party? Anybody, 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 anybody. I think I, if I go, maybe group? All right, who knows how to leave the party or just left, leave the group if you can. We got Sara and Xenial left, that's it. Okay, everybody get ready. We are going down. Xenial still in the group. Okay, group leave. Thank you. All right, we've left the group. Everyone's here. It's the middle of night. We got our lanterns going. We're about to experience the battle to end all battles here in Velerin. We got a nice group here. I'm gonna count it down and then we're going to get started here. All right. In five, four, three, two, one, go! Oh, Sara's right on top of things here. We got, ooh, I'm chasing down Copcat right away. Copcat's just jumping around. Sara's on top of me, I think, trying to just kill me right off the bat. I can't see him. They're hiding in the shadows because they got that lantern off. I see how it is. We got Keckmeister over there shooting us down. Might as well kill them first because they are just causing issues over here. I think we got most of the group over here in the middle trying to kill Copcat, but I don't know. I got Xenial trying to follow me around, bat me around. I don't I don't know what to do about this. And welcome to the stream, low spec. Nice to see you. We are just trying to destroy ourselves here in a basically eight for eight on eight on one combat type of deal. We got it's a free-for-all here in Velorin. We're having a lot of fun. I got Xenial just trying to kill me here. Not today, Xenial. I'm sorry. I got a flamethrower you. You wanted this. You wanted this to happen and it's happening right now. Oh, you're trying to heal me up? <laughs> All right. Come on over here, Xenial. I see you. Copcat's over there just destroying the crap out of people. I don't know what's going on. I got to take Copcat out a little bit. Help whoever's over there trying to kill Copcat. It's not happening though. I think Xenial's coming over here trying to sneak back in on top of me. Trying to throw some bombs out there. All right, here we go. We got someone else coming back. And, oh, the flamethrower out of nowhere. I see. We can fight flamethrower, flamethrower. No worries there. Oh my. We are just feeling it now. Maybe eat a couple apples. Maybe that helps me. Maybe not. I don't know what's going to happen here. We're just going through having a grand old battle here. It's getting crazy, everyone. Oh my. You know what? Everybody's doing pretty well so far. Xenial's still just right after me. All right. This has gone too far. I'm going to focus on Xenial over here while trying to keep an eye across the way to make sure no one's coming up against on me on the backside. All right. They're just hopping around in circles. All right. Fine. Copcat's still got plenty of health. I think Xenials are trying to sneak up back up on me. I got to keep an eye out for them. Got one one hit, two hits on Copcat. It's not going so well over here. 
Highlander can be the only one. Nick, I have a question. What's the question here? Oh, man. Xenial just keeps sneaking on in, hitting me, and just running out of here. There's so much going on here. We're just lighting up the night here as we're trying to just bombard Copcat with some magic skills here. You can hear the crickets in the background. The crickets of doom. As we're, as everyone's just trying to go all out here, trying to kill each other. It's an eight for one, free for all. Welcome to the stream, everybody. <laughs> Exenial is what's called a stream. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Coming out. I saw that. I saw that. Exenial, not today. Not today. Oh, my. Nope. Nope, Exenial. I don't think so. Get back. Get back. Take that fire on. Take that fire on. Oh my. Copcat still has 700 health. Exenial keeps trying to sneak up on <laughs> on my on my back. We need the raid because uh, our chat is getting raided by a cockroach. Oh my. This battle is actually taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Oh, oh, I think we got Exenial. We got Exenial. We took him out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got Copcat and Sara just going at it here in the middle. Oh, man, I'm worried. I'm worried we're, we're not going to make it here. Okay, Coco Rum's just in on top of us right now. Oh, man. Maybe I can bat him away. There we go. Bat away, bat away. We are just going at it here inside Velerin, trying to uh, just just make it on by as we continue this epic PvP battle. We got Coco Rum Cop Cat left. Who else? And Coco Rum is just going in on me. Going ham here. 82. They still got 334 health. I only have 134. Maybe I have some apples left, but I don't have much food here. I think there's four of us left here. Yes. I'm with you, Sandro. Unless we all focus our powers in on Copcat, I don't think we stand a chance. Oh my. Sniping over here, trying to snipe Copcat down a little bit at least. Lose some of that health. We got Xenial coming back in on me. We probably should have made the rules a little more clear after you're dead. You're not supposed to fight again. Oh my. Well, it looks like uh, I'm about to eat it real quick. Xenial's just back for revenge over here. Not having it. Trying to help as much as I can with Copcat. All right. Uh, looks like I'm just going to watch uh, things unfold here back at uh, the... Back at the arena. Oh, nice little zebra is just hanging out here with us. 
As you see, the playing field has been moved a little bit. Let's go in and watch the action unfold. Maybe we'll see the end of the free-for-all battle. Looks like Copcat and Coco Rum are going at it like mad people. I think uh, Coco Rum is down to about 170 health. We got 400 health on Copcat. This doesn't look well for Coco Rum, but I think they're the last two left. Looks like Copcat defeated Sara. Xenial came back in because they were ticked off and killed me. And it's just Copcat and Coco Rum left. You know what? It probably would have been pretty close if we had two people left on top of Copcat. And then the last two people could have really went. This is amazing. Copcat takes the cake once again. Let's all dance. Give a shout out to Copcat, the winner. I mean, it was kind of expected, really, with a level 200 and I think 6 here in the game. F's in the chat for everyone else. Thanks so much for joining in, having fun, uh, supporting the channel, liking the video, subscribing below, all that fun stuff. That was a lot of fun. <sighs> Copcat really went in and took care of everyone today. Just extremely awesome. Sara would not stop healing. Yeah, Sara was coming in with those heals really clutch. They always do. Last time they almost had you. Good game, everyone. Good game. Thanks so much for playing. As you can see, just take a look at what we did to this playing field. I'm pretty sure this was all green before we came around. How crazy is that? We just... We destroyed... We basically made a forest fire here in the middle of this playing field here. This is all green ones. This is what happens when you do a free-for-all battle. Insane. Insane. Looks like Sara is trying to heal up this place. It's a new biome. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Look like a tornado hit. That's absolutely right. We just destroyed this entire place. My oh my. All right, everyone. I think what we're going to do. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, is healing the land, or at least trying to. I think we lost a few people. It's too bad. I was hoping we'd get one more round going, but um, I think we only have five people out of eight. That's okay. I think we had a lot of fun today. Today was an extremely fun stream. We explored new updates. We went into caves. We went into dungeons. We had an upset inside of the dungeon. We had a free-for-all. Eight people all versus each other. We got cyclones in the chat. We got fun stuff going on. Make sure to stop in for a special stream. Probably, maybe, maybe tomorrow. But uh, I'm going to say for sure next week. I want to explore some of the... Oh, thanks for the mushroom stick. That was very nice of you, Coco Rum. Uh, we want to explore some of the new skill trees being added to the game. We're going to check out some of the testing branches. You know, that was a great idea by Fowl. I'm glad they said something. Uh, we will definitely explore those skills as well as other things that are going to be added into the game in the future here very, very soon. So um, just to get sneak peeks, see the updates, see what's going on with the development team. I think that's gonna be a very awesome video. Uh, so make sure to hit the like button so uh, more get interested into uh, the streams and get interested in Velorin. If, uh, well, I guess, yeah, I guess that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, make sure to post them in the comments section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. I want to say thanks, special thanks to Sara, Copcat, Coco Rum, Exenial, uh, Triceps, and CC for joining in on this awesome stream today. It was a lot of fun, as always. You really make the, these streams fun and enjoyable so we can play. Uh, so hopefully more members keep joining in. We have a cap of only 600. So anyone and everyone can always join in. Thank you so much for everyone in chat helping 
talk and just having fun as per. Thanks for stopping by. Low spec again. Cashly, we have so many people in the chat. I can't get to everybody. Uh, Sandro, I know you're stopping by. Nitesh, Joseph, you make it fun. Doodle, thanks for stopping in. Mitsu, everyone and anyone. I can't get to everyone, but you know who you are. You are the people who make this much, much funner. Again, thanks, and I look forward to having you in another stream. See you later.